everybody welcome back to my channel I am back from vacation and it is the end of October and it's time for me to share with you some of my thrift store finds that I found this month I've only shot my bargain center that's next door to my regular Goodwill store. My regular Goodwill store has things so overpriced, they charge two and three dollars for Dollar Tree stuff. So I just don't even go in there anymore. And I tell you, I find the best bargains when I go to the bargain center where everything's in bins and you just dig through it. It's not for everybody. Some people would even consider it gross in there and some things are, but I tell you, if you will go consistently, you will find some great things so everything you see here is from the bargain center it cost me anywhere from a quarter to 50 cents to maybe a dollar or so and the, everything you see on this counter here was probably total twenty dollars so let's go ahead and get started the first thing I found was just a few days ago this beautiful burlap printed prayer that says god bless the food before us the family beside us and the love between us amen just love this and i'm pretty sure this brand is from one of the christian bookstores and if you are familiar with the uh, home decor in those christian bookstores they're very pricey i don't r recognize that brand the next thing is just a whole bag of wooden christmas beads this is actually the second bag i have found like this and i do my christmas tree in red woodland and buffalo check and this will be so cute on my tree i've got a big bag of these so i'll have plenty of red beaded garland this year now i don't know if somebody just donated a bunch of these or maybe pier one did but these are just some little christmas reed diffusers uh, christmas scent and my store originally was asking $2.99 for them. They're brand new in the package, and this is actually the third one I've picked up. So I'm anxious to put that out here in about another month. And if you're not familiar with the Pier 1 Reed Diffusers, they have a wonderful throw, and they're every bit worth it, even if you go to the store and buy them. Cute little watermelon slice for a tiered tray for the summertime. Picked up this cute little bird and nest that'll be something cute on a tiered tray in the spring and i pulled the one out that i already had this is a little picture frame from ikea that i love to use when i'm having get togethers and i may have a salad or something on the table and somebody's not sure what it is or you need a little sign it's from ikea they're usually only like a dollar in the store my store was asking a dollar 99 for it but i paid maybe 50 cents for it but it's just a little plastic mounted sign that's great for food tables this adorable little easter dish towel it's the tag brand tag you usually find that at dillard's or macy's or even a lot of the home stores carry that brand it's also a well-known picture frame brand i don't collect many wood mounted blocks anymore i've pretty much gone to the clear stamps but every once in a while i'll find one that i don't have at home and i just loved this oversized holly and berries you can't go wrong this is a timeless stamp and i'll definitely use it at some point in time here's another great find this was originally like nine dollars at hobby lobby brand and you would have probably paid about five dollars for this little book of cardstock but i probably paid 50 cents for it some great timeless paper design a little package of american flags i love to put those in my flower pots and things around the yard during fourth of july memorial day and things like that and those of you that are familiar with floral embellishments and craft and scrapbook type things these are called prima flowers well-known brand they originally were 3.99 at probably some scrapbook store they're very expensive got the whole package missing one for probably 50 cents brand new package of some little baking cups between now and christmas i make treats and these are just something good to have picked up this cute little turkey to go on a tiered tray couldn't pass him up if you're familiar with farmhouse decor you know the amber bottles are very popular i picked up one of those maybe to stick a little floral pick in of some sort you can tie a ribbon around that or whatever there's lots of things you can do with these little amber bottles they're real pretty just to, on your mantle a whole collection of amber bottles i thought this little wooden snowman was cute what was so odd is he had an on and off button and my husband tried to figure it out but we just think that obviously he played music or something but you can you can't tell and there's nothing on him that lights up but he's just cute to sit around somewhere and i mentioned before that my christmas tree is all woodland and buffalo check and stuff like that i found this grapevine 
woodland star for the top of my tree this year. I'm looking forward to putting that on my tree. I think that'll be really pretty. This metal corrugated picture frame, I'll take that wine glass out of it, but I love the farmhouse style of it. It's just wire on the back and I might paint it. You could do a lot with a metal picture frame. Might find some cute printable to put in it because none of us hardly have printed pictures anymore. I may or may not keep it like this. This is just one of those small shadow boxes from Hobby Lobby. It all comes out and I can take that inside out and do something different with it. And here's a whole box of these canning rings. You know, the little project where they make a pumpkin out of those canning rings, that's something I've been meaning to do forever. And someone sent it to me the other day and I thought, you know, I'd forgot about that project. And just so happened, I came across a whole box of these rings and I might insert a picture here if you've never seen one of those pumpkins made out of the canning rings. All right, moving on, I picked up a couple of these little craft kits for my granddaughter. They're originally Target Dollar Spot, and all they are is just little foam boards that you put thumbtacks in, and then they can uh, do string art. So I'm going to put those up for the spring, a little Easter egg and a little rabbit. She will love doing that. And then I picked up another one of these, one of these little plastic containers. These are usually like $1.99 or less at Hobby Lobby. These are wonderful for my craft room. I keep all sorts of my miniature embellishments in it, very much like these flowers and things. You know, I have some that are labeled just Christmas. I have some that are just buttons organized into color. I have all, so these are just wonderful for those little things that you have in your craft room to keep them organized but you can definitely get them all the time at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And last but not least I'm gonna move down here to the floor. I've maybe bumped it a little bit but when we were in Pigeon Forge last week my husband and I went into some thrift store. I don't know if it was Goodwill or not. They're brand new in the package these two flags. I thought they were just garden flags but took them out of the package when I got in the truck I noticed that they were just banners and I thought how cute would this be for a party or something next year. A little too late this year you could put these across your fireplace or somewhere outside or you know if you have any kind of get together and who knows I have so much of this stuff I enjoy giving it away as much as anything but just thought those were so cute and wanted to share those with you too so I hope you enjoyed seeing my October goodies and have a safe and fun Halloween thanks for watching bye bye